Hey there, Internet. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. And welcome to this very special episode all about how an enterprising fellow created a wild demo with the help of a technological curiosity. But again, I'm already far ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. Released in 2021, Freespin is a wild demo that runs on the Commodore 1541 disk drive. I'll explain as we go, but being that it's a demo, there is no plot or connecting story of any kind. It's just visual effects and sound. Three years in the making, this demo won the wild competition at the GubData 2021 demo party. So if you're new to this, I recommend my quadcore and the demo scene video, to which I've provided a link below. In short, demos came from intros on pirated 8-bit games, grew into their own subculture, and wild demos are anything that can't be classified any other way. Which is incredibly confusing. So let's clear this up once and for all. Bearing in mind that I am not an expert, and that this is entirely unofficial, and just what I wrote on the day, but it will give you some idea of what demos are, and what they aren't. And we won't be going into the subdivisions of intros, dentros, or size coding, so as not to confuse you utterly. Now, at the most basic level, any demo that runs on a consumer PC or game console is not a wild demo. Any demo that runs on an old-school home computer or game console is not a wild demo. Having said this, exceptions can include classic expansions, which is anything produced while the machine in question was still in production, modern expansions, which is anything produced after the machine in question was discontinued, and even hobbyist hacks. Like, for example, a custom interface to hook up a DVD-ROM to a C64. Singular crew again. Their experiments with the C64 have really broadened its horizons. But anyway, this is where our subject comes in. A demo that runs entirely on the 1541 disk drive. But how can you run an entire demo on an ordinary disk drive? Well, the 1541 is no ordinary disk drive. You see, the Commodore 1541 disk drive contains its own 6502 processor. Ordinarily, this serves as a cost-reducing measure to both control the drive mechanics and read the disks. But it can also be used for maths coprocessing or even interpreting code outright. Of course, musical floppy drives are nothing new, and they've been around since a bored hacker got sick of the clicking and whirring of his floppy drive, and got it into his head that he could make something musical out of that. The earliest example I could find was a Polish student who goes by the alias of Silent in a video dated to September 2011. Let me know in the comments if you can find earlier. This, however, used a three and a half inch drive, and was controlled by an external microcontroller. Silent would go on to include repurposed flatbed scanners and hard drives in his Lopatron Orchestra, which he unveiled to the world in June of 2022. So, we have sound, as provided by the onboard CPU. But how do we get video when there's no video chip? Ah, well that's all down to the cable. While the ins and outs are explained by the main coder on his own website, the gist of it is that he made a custom cable with a resistor. But like I say, the full story is on his website, which I'll link below for you. This did bring up some challenges, which led the visual design decisions, and limited the entire production to monochrome, and loaded it entirely into the two kilobytes of memory cache that are available on the 1541. Still, I think that they've made a right pretty production, and I just have to put this demo into my house of love. As a technological achievement, Freespin is undeniable. As a collection of effects, it's monumental. But does that make a good demo? Objectively, no. This being said, it's very much a moot point, 
because it's a floppy disk drive with no video processor or sound chip making sound and drawing squares, rectangles and lines on your screen. And did I mention that this is all in 2 kilobytes? But once you get past the audacious lunacy that inspired this production, you come to the artistry of the demo. And while it is a first attempt, it's far from terrible. Felidae, the artist, has managed to come up with a few decent effects given the platform, and musicians Kebby and PVCF do seem to have worked wonders to turn the guttural grindings of a floppy disk stepper motor into something recognisably musical. So, could something else come along and supersede this as THE 1541 trope? Why possibly? And would this demo cut it on the usual suspects? Perhaps the music might. But then, this wasn't coded for an Amiga or a C64. It was coded for the disk drive of a C64. No video chip, no sound chip, no video out, and they managed to create both. That this even exists at all is incredible. That it's aesthetically pleasing in any way is just icing on the cake. If you're at all capable, or even able, I urge you to check this out for yourself. Links are in the description below. And with these words, I've been Funky Monkey, wishing you good days and good demos. So long, folks! Hey folks, Funky again. If you liked the video, you know where that button is. Or why not consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. And if you want to be extra awesome, you can check out my crowdfunding links. Funding me grants access to the VIP channel in my Discord server, but there's still plenty of fun in general. And if you're not fussed about any of it, that's okay too. So long! <laughs>